It's the middle of the night, and this trawler is heading out to sea from the port of Gros du Roi. There we go, we're off. Today we're going to be mainly working between Espiguet and Set. There are a few octopus, some mullet, sole, and a bit of hake, but not much. Paul Gros and one of his sons, Jeff, are at the helm. Did you turn the GPS on, Jeff? Yep. It's four o'clock in the morning and the fishermen are now unravelling their nets that they'll pull behind the boat for the next two hours. Waking up so early in the morning does have its benefits though, like catching the sunrise. It's a special moment of the day that Paul never wants to miss. For the past 35 years, he's been casting his nets in the Mediterranean just like three generations of fishermen before him. Today, Paul is determined to pass this family know-how on to his sons. I'm happy. I'm happy because I'm working with them. I learned this trade from my father, and they're learning from theirs. It's a reason to be proud. Even if things are more difficult today and the future is uncertain, it's still a great job, a job where you're free. Your only obligation is to get up and go out to sea. But when you love doing it, you do it with all your heart. Jeff is 22 years old. He followed in his father's footsteps from a very young age. Sometimes the catch is big with some good fish. We're always looking to achieve that. After getting his diploma from the maritime school in Set, Jeff knew that he would be spending all of his life on board a boat. It's in our blood. We've been brought up like this. When I was tiny, I'd come in the summer to watch. I've always wanted to do this. When I saw my dad come home after a day out at sea and so on, I never wanted to do anything else. In the nets today are a mix of octopus, mullet and sole that need to be sorted through, cleaned and placed on ice to keep them fresh until they're sold at auction. It's a tough life, spending 15 hours at sea, five days a week. But it's a far cry from the life that fishermen used to have. There are a lot fewer fish nowadays. People say it's slowly getting back to how it used to be, but it's still harder than what I knew 30 or so years ago. Decades ago, the fishermen in this part of France used to catch oily fish like sardines and anchovies. But today, they've all but vanished. There are therefore just a handful of trawlers left that brave the seas each day. And just like in happier times when the catch was more bountiful, older fishermen wait on the quayside to help out. We come to give them a bit of encouragement because it's harder than before. What with the conditions and the European laws that have been imposed. Here, help yourself. That's for our dinner. We take three or four fish to eat. That's just how things are done for the older fishermen. Fresh off the boat, the fish is now sold at this cooperative auction house. Sometimes you come and there's a lot of fish, but on a day like today, there's not much. It sells as and when it comes in. Next to the Joseph, the family's second trawler is moored, one which has belonged to Paul's eldest son for the past six years. Behind. You have to pull on it, and it has to be behind. But on the quayside, it's the head of the family who's managing things. I'm helping my son to pull the nets on board, and now I'm going to see if they're finished. He's known as the boss around here. He's the one that runs everything, and my brother and I do as he says. We still have some responsibilities to be out at sea and to be our own boss, to manage the crew and so on. But when it comes down to the work and how the work is dealt with, it's all about the family. While Jeff might still be number two, his dad is already dreaming of the day when his son can take over the business. I hope he'll quickly become the boss. I'm ready to take it easy. I've been doing this for 35 years and it's tiring. When you hit 50, you start to feel it. You're better at home than at sea. 
Back home, there's no escaping the day's catch. It's always served up for dinner. A few onions, some cuttlefish, then we add some water and bring it together with some potatoes, some black olives, and we cover it all with water and let it stew and simmer on a low heat. The whole family often gathers for dinner. It's the perfect moment to indulge in a little nostalgia. This was the first boat in our family, back in 1949. Buoyed by their family's deep maritime past, these two brothers are now ready to face the high seas and the challenges that fishing will throw up in the future.